this one wants to be disrespectful, so she gonna she not gonna be in the ponytail. Hey YouTube, and welcome back to It's Amazing. So today I will be doing a flat twist out on my stretched hair um, string that I cut off from some knee highs. So yeah, let's, let's get started. I do my hair toss, check my nails, baby how you feeling? Hair toss, check my nails, baby how you feeling? First I'm going to take these out. And let me see, how long was it ago? I did a twist out, but I stretched it with the string, so when I did the flat twist out, it would look longer, because I cut my hair, so. Excuse the background noise, it's gonna be a lot of it, so yeah, that was my brother. But anywho, so, I did a twist out, but I want to stretch it so I, can, so I can get ready for the flat twist out, so it can be longer, and so yeah, this is just how I, stretch my hair at night. Okay, yeah, so here's my hair in, I guess, the stretch state. And it's just... Okay, so when I do my flat twist, a flat twist out, I don't, I start at the back first because the front is always the hardest part. So I'm just going to start at the back. I'm going to part my hair, how is it, over this way, from ear to ear and just section off that section. The back half of my hair is out and the front half is up in a little bun. And I think I'm going to do... I'm probably gonna do four going to the back. So I'm gonna split the back half in half like this and work with this section. And so first I'm going to split this half in half again so I can get two sections. And I'm gonna try to do them as even as possible. Now I'm gonna be starting with this section and I'm just gonna I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna finger detangle it first before I actually comb it so it can be easier to comb. And you want your hair to tangle when you're doing a flat twist so it can be easier to flat twist because when you flat twist it, you go section by section and you don't wanna snag any of your hair. So you wanna finger detangle or use a comb. I'm just gonna finger detangle first before I use the comb to get out any shed hair. So if you're gonna finger the tangle, it should look about something like this. Like just really spray it out a little bit. And then I am going to get my water bottle. And because I stretched it, I don't want it drenched. Like I don't want it soaking wet. I'm just gonna wet it like a little bit. I'm gonna put like, let me see, one spray of water, one or two sprays of water for this section. Cause I'm gonna add some more liquids to it and I don't want it to shrink back up cause that would like defeat the purpose of me stretching it. So I'm gonna spray it like twice. Yeah. Yeah, that's enough. Ooh, that was probably too much. It's the Shea Butter Wheat Protein. And I'm gonna be using that to, as a moisturizer and to like give my hair like a little bit of slip. Not a lot, but like just a little bit. Cause like I said again, I don't want it wet. I just want it damp. Get about this much. We might know like a little bit more than that, let me see. Probably like two my middle finger two middle finger dips I'm gonna put that on there then I am going to get my cream of nature pure honey moisture whip twisting cream this one and I like this. I love this stuff so much I just got it and I like it it's good it makes my hair like feel real moisturized but it doesn't it doesn't make it chalky like some thick creams make my hair chalky but this one doesn't and I noticed like when I used a smoother cream before it it's not as not as heavy an oil blend I made and this is just olive oil 
and this Jamaican black castor oil. And I like it because it smells good. It's the mango and lime Jamaican black castor oil. So yeah, I use this to seal my hair. I'm gonna get a little bit of Eco Styler Gel. I use the olive oil Eco Styler Gel. And I'm just gonna get like a little, please do not put a lot on here because it's gonna make your ends like feel sticky. So I just get like a little bit, not even like, I'm gonna see if you can see this on my finger. Like it's not even that much. But like, it's like a big section. And I put that, and I try to work it in the middle before I tack it to the ends. Cause I really don't want it that much on the ends of my hair, so much more on the middle. So my hair can like take on a new shape. Using the Cantu Shea Butter Coconut Oil shine and hold mist and I'm it's mainly like water in here because I was running out of it so I just mix it with water I use this I really don't use this for like a moisturizing purpose I use it because I like the way it smells so I'm just gonna spray that on my hair just to wet it back up a little bit then I comb it out and now that it's like this I just twist it back to the back I know you don't want to see underneath my arm, so like, I'm just gone. I'm gonna twist like this. And this is not a flat twist tutorial, because I don't know how to show you how to do that, because the way my camera is set up is right in front of me. So you're not gonna be able to see it, see it. But if I can, I'll show you when I started twisting more towards the front. So this is just me going straight back. So if you wanna learn how to flat twist, I'll probably show it how I do it when I get towards the front so you can see it better. And then when I get to this part where you just, to the end when you're done flat twisting, I just do a two strand twist at the end. And I add like a little bit more product so it can be more wet. Just the ends, not anything else. Nothing but the ends. Cause I don't want, I don't want my hair to take a long time to dry cause I want it to be dry in the morning. So I'm not gonna wet it as much, but a little bit, yeah. And comb it out. And when you're twisting it, come closer when you're twisting it try to twist the twist like don't just twist straight down turn it while you're twisting it and that'll make your twist tighter and it'll give you more definition so yeah I don't know if you can see what I'm doing like that like turn it while you're twisting it turn it in the direction that you're twisting turn your hair in the direction you're twisting it and it should make the twist tighter is my first twist. I don't think I twist the end. And then I'm just gonna do like the same thing. I'm gonna finger just hangle, spray it with water, do a light cream, then a heavier cream, then seal all that with the oil and put on gel. And then I spray this stuff. It's like hair perfume to make my hair smell better. But yeah, that's the order I'm going to be going in with all the twists. Okay, so this is the last twist in the back. They don't look, the twist don't look that cute, but the twist out is gonna be cute. Cause, mm, I don't know, it's just the way to the twist shrink up. And I just did four going to the back, it's nothing special. I didn't part it with like a definite part. I just parted with my fingers because when I parted with the comb, and I try to do it like perfect, like the people do on YouTube, it just looks, I don't know. As you can see like the parts in my hair and then I have to pick some more just to get the parts on my hair. So if you want to you can part it with a comb but I personally just part it with my fingers. It does like the same thing you getting apart. The hardest part for me is the front because I never know which way I want my hair parted. I don't know if I want it to the side or in the middle or to the left. 
So what I do is I part it in every way that I probably want my hair to go. Like I part it in the middle, like a straight part. I'm gonna do it straighter. I part it straight in the middle and then I part it on the sides in ways that I actually wear my hair. Like if I actually if I wear my hair to the side like this, I'll part it that way. So I'm gonna make one part down the middle. It might not be straight, but mm, I rarely wear it in the middle. But this is just in case I feel like it tomorrow. Cause I don't know what I'm wearing. to the right but whatever and I'm gonna part it to the left and to the right because I know I don't know which way I'm gonna part my hair tomorrow so I'm just gonna try to see how I would part it if I did wear it that way like so I'm gonna cross it over the bang so I'm gonna curve it to the side And I'm gonna go to the other side and do the same thing. So now I have three parts. One on the right, one in the middle, and one on the left. So I'm just gonna do my flat twist like that. And I like to whip the front of my hair more than I do the back. So I might spray more water or I might put more product on just so I can get it wetter because I would like the front of my hair to be more defined than the back. I like the back of it big and like the front of it more defined so it'll look more tamed. But so I try to twist it in the direction that the part is going. So I'm not gonna just go straight down. I'm gonna curve it a little bit. So the hair will fall that way too. You know how to cornrow, you're going to know how to flat twist. It's just like braiding, but with two sections. So you twist it and you get the two pieces and you keep twisting it, but you add on pieces of your hair as you twist it back. That's all it is. So I'm gonna show it to you as close as I can. get your two sections this twist it and add more hair in as you twist back and when you're grabbing the hair try to grab like this and not just a piece like try to grab it all the way down from the bottom to the top so it won't so you won't miss any hair when you run out of hair to add just flat twist down like normal not flat twist I'm sorry double strand twist two strand twist down like normal give it a twirl and that's it I'm just gonna take that I'm Take it back here and put it in the ponytail with the rest of them. Two that are beside the ones in the middle, I just go straight back with. I don't try to curve it. I just go straight back with it because it's like a, it's a middle part. So I probably should have split this in two, but I'm not. So. so this is how my hair looks when I'm all done. Kind of looks crazy. Hopefully I'll be able to. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to record me taking it down on camera. But if I don't, I'll tell you how I do it. Cause it is like a specific way I take mine down cause I don't want to get too frizzy. But yeah, this is how I look. And I only have, I have eight in my head. So like I said before, if you want more definition, do more flat twists. If you want less definition, do less flat twists. But I just do eight cause like, I don't know. I feel like it's just enough de definition, but like it also has volume in it. And if you feel like you wet your hair too much while you did this, you can always get one of these and tie it back into a ponytail. 
or you can just put your bonnet on and go to sleep like I might do no I think I'm gonna put the thing on because I think I waited too much and this is with the olive oil and the Jamaican black castor oil mix I do I'm just gonna put that on my hair on my oil on my scalp I won't be itchy I'm just gonna put it in between the parts that I did and I'm gonna do them down the back So she gonna she not gonna be in the ponytail. And let it dry while I go to sleep. And I'll be coming back to show you my end results in the morning. So I wasn't able to show you how it looks when I take it right down because I didn't have time to film it while I was doing my hair to get ready for church. But this is the final look. Just light and fluffy and as you can see it's more defined in the front than it is in the back so it can be longer but yeah that's how it looks when i take it down and i took it down this is how i took it down i put the oil that i used on my fingertips and i just took it down and i didn't separate it as much i just separated it where it naturally wants to separate but like when you do that you have to reinforce the curl as well because it's stretched so it's not going to be as tight but yeah this will last probably like two days two to three days because it's stretched so it's gonna shrink up. But that's fine, I just put it in the puff and it's like a cute little stretch puff. Look, it's so cute. But here's my results. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you and in the next video. Like Bye.